My name is Rena Oddish. I am a pulmonary and critical care physician at Henry Ford Hospital and the medical director of care experience for the health system. My name is Judith Gray Davis. I'm a health care worker at the Henry Ford Health System in the ICU. I'm here today because I nominated Judy as a healthcare hero based on the work that she did for our patients during COVID. You know, cause I'm just passionate about what I do. So my patients always came first. We had patients who knew that they were not going to come off the ventilator if they went on. I don't want to go on the ventilator because I'm going to die. So I was trying to reassure him. I said, no, you're not. He said, yes, I already know if I go on this ventilator, I'm not coming off. So I need to call my wife and I need to explain to her. And just in the room at that moment with the doctor and the nurses, looking at him, trying to explain to his wife where insurance policy was, how to pay bills, what are the PIN numbers to this account. To let those men leave feeling like they had cared for their family, alleviating that burden. I was very surprised, because Dr. Otis, I'm very shy. I don't do well in talking in public. I don't think I'm photogenic. And then I thought it was just gonna be like me and her, we was just gonna take a picture and they was gonna put it up. Then when I started receiving these emails, I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? One of the gifts of this time is that we rose to support each other in ways that I think we couldn't have imagined before. We, we are a family at Henry Ford and we love each other, but the, the level of love that I saw during these moments um, really inspired me in ways that is difficult to articulate. And Judy embodies so much of that. She served as surrogate family for patients who couldn't have loved ones at their bedside. She talked people through their most difficult moments. Not being able to just touch and hold them the way they needed to be held because they couldn't have visitors. At the time during COVID, you couldn't have any visitors. You know, healthcare is pretty agile. And so we got used to masking right away. We got used to keeping our patients safe and distancing chairs and waiting rooms and figuring out how we could still do what we needed to do safely. I can say my feelings have changed because I feel a little more safer and a little more comfortable that they finding out more about the illness. We're at a moment in our society where I think there's a lot of division and we can choose to look towards that and see ourselves as different or we can choose to look towards the kind of community that we created during a time of crisis, where we rose to fill a void for each other in the way that Judy did, where we supported each other in our moments where we didn't think we could go on. And I, I see so much hope there in terms of who we can be. But it means the world to me, for Dr. Otis nominating me for that, it means the world because she is an awesome, fantastic doctor. I love her. Personally, I love her as a doctor. She's always been very compassionate about whatever she does. I was just surprised.